Hello and welcome to another Salesberg video. Today we will be looking at a software made by a company called DGRT. Name of the software is Videoproc and it's a lightweight quick video editing tool. So one of the key features that this software claims is that it is fast because it uses CPU and GPU in uh, various mix and also that it is easy to learn and therefore user friendly. We shall see about those things. A quick disclaimer first, this video was sponsored by DGRT, but the views and opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone, and I have not allowed any influence from the author of this software. Okay, so when we open the application VideoProc, we get four tools to work with. Now, I'll first talk about the DVD uh, tool, simply because it's the easiest thing to get out of the way. Um, now, DVD being a sunset technology, this may or may not be very applicable, but you know, some may have like old um, wedding videos and whatnot in DVDs that you wanna convert into video formats. You can do so in many different formats here. And um, you know, it, it can then make it very easy to upload into various social media. Just a point of concern that I'd like to express is certain DVDs are copyrighted. So if you are um, encoding those uh, and uploading, uh, I'd like to just uh, express that. Uh, please be aware of any laws that are um, involved in the process. So next, let's look at the main ticket item, the video editor. What does this do? So I'm going to drop a video here. And once we do that, we have the video in this list. We can drop multiple videos if we want to join them together. Um, we can do various things such as, like let's say first if I set my target, uh, there are many, many formats that we can um, choose from and make various types of um, outputs. So here we can see number of things we can do immediately uh, rotate very simple crop cut cut for um, like we can slice the video into um, you know whatever length we want or like where it starts where it finishes and so forth next uh, watermark very simple thing you know add a watermark either text or image and of course effects this is fairly stock standard as well like you know you can and whatever um, effect it is that takes your fancy, you can add it via here. Below here, these will go gray if we touch something from here. Now, there's something called toolbox. There are lots of other tools. So we can do either these or one of these. Uh, one thing that you might do quite often is D-shake. So how does that work? If we click on this uh, little um, options here, there are some parameters and the results are those. Okay, so when I hit done, nothing is processed yet. So when I hit run, now it is doing the D-shake. Some of the thing here is when the CPU is green, that is when it is using the CPU and then um, it lights up AMD uh, later, I've done this before, where it is beginning to use the graphics card at the same time. See here, the GPU is not being used at this point in time, but the CPU is definitely being utilized. Interesting things to have a look at. So here at about after 50%, AMD came green, and here we can see that the GPU is getting utilized for the remainder of the encoding. So it probably depends on the kind of processing that is taking place, but it is very interesting to see how um, they're making it kind of transparent, like which part of the process the CPU is being used and which part they're also utilizing GPU. And the CPU usage and GPU usage here, we can see that um, they are fluctuating with possibly uh, passing phases of the uh, rendering process okay so the video has been stabilized uh, the original was quite choppy to begin with now to the right is the original left is the stabilized 
as we can see it has um, cropped in a little bit um, mostly the subject was on the right anyhow we can see that it is now much more smoother than what it was uh, originally what I'll do is um, I have 50 50 over here let's look at the uh, full render So as far as video editing tool goes, um, we can do video editing as we've seen. We can cut uh, various slices of the video and then we can line them up and if we hit run, um, we can merge them together as well. So um, we'll have a sequential, you know, scene after scene after scene, that sort of way. It's um, applicable that it's um, a, a editor. However, I personally use Sony Vegas and, you know, this is a typical, um, not even finished uh, project. So the trade-off is that a tool that is simple, it is easy to learn, but at the same time, by very definition, a simple thing um, is missing some complexity. So next tool I want to look at is the downloader. Now what's a downloader? Well, let's say if we add a video by adding a video URL and then we hit analyze what it will do is it will give us some options so this is one of my own video that I'm using as example good video by the way you should have a look <laughs> so uh, quality full HD or 4k you know and then uh, if we go download selected it will just start downloading a again a word of caution that if you're downloading videos some copyright laws may apply so uh, user discretion is advised and the last thing to look at is the recorder now this is very similar to uh, OBS studio that I'm using to record this video what we can do with this is pretty much record what is on the screen it is that simple so um, people who are gamers and things like that they want to capture gaming as well as the commentary so here we have the uh, sound of the uh, computer here and my mic audio is here and um, they are getting mixed at the same time on top of that you can crop it and you know add a webcam so here's the option screen plus a camera so you can place a camera um, somewhere here and so forth very simple very easy to set up um, as the software promises this is not complicated there's you know um, hardly much happening here to not understand and uh, that's about it for simple tools in one place and that's the DGRT's video proc quick pros and cons first thing first I have been provided with a link that takes us to this particular page so uh, reviewers are getting this link uh, which you can use to get a free version uh, they're calling this the giveaway version or something like that now you can use this to fairly get acquainted with what the software is capable of what it can do for you and you can then upgrade to a lifetime copy by paying $29.95 and uh, they will give you updates for you know lifetime as they're saying from a value perspective if i show you i use sony vegas which looks something like this and i can do a fairly complicated project with this then again this costs hundreds of dollars so does adobe premiere and full copy of davinci resolve and so on and so forth this is $29, a reasonable price for a relatively easy and simple piece of software. They did advertise like that, that it is a easy to use application, you know, uh, 
simple, user-friendly, intuitive and all that, which to a good extent it is, I agree with that. Where else the uh, software that I mentioned, Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, you actually have to learn quite a bit before you are you know, up and running. So both pros and cons right there. So as far as brief of the software goes, they are promising to do four things in a simple manner, which I do believe they have achieved. It is fairly simple to use and the four things they have promised to do, you know, it works in that, in that sense. So that's all I had to say about the uh, video proc video editing software. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, you take care of yourself.